I knew Sarah was going to cook up an entire feast for me, so I asked her to just invite two or three other Ethiopian friends to share the whole platter. Turns out, she ended up inviting half the country. Alhamdulillah! Veganism is not a new concept. There are cultures in the East that have been doing this for centuries, and one of the most ancient cultures is Ethiopia. I'm here in Abu Hail at one of my favorite Ethiopian restaurants, Al Habasha, that's been around since 2000. And I'm here to show you the extensive lineup of vegan dishes that they serve. Sarah, tell me all about why Ethiopia has such an extensive vegan menu, because a lot of people don't know about this. When you see the history, they are more orthodox people. Uh, they are fasting, they are not eating milk. Uh, not only Wednesday and Friday. Most of the time they are using to fast. Wow. And uh, milk, cheese, butter, they are not eating. Right, so the quintessential but, yeah. vegan menu. Yeah. And they have two fasting days in a week, which is Wednesday and Friday. But in addition to that, yeah. there are many, many more fasting days that the most pious yes. of Orthodox Christians actually follow. And that's the reason why you have this entire line up just look at the different colors actually no it's not only for for uh, fasting this is very healthy food and uh, most of the people they are using to eat this food this is full of nutrition right it's daily fresh we cannot keep it in the freezer anything this is we make it the same time we, we eat that's most healthy for our and these are dishes that you've grown up eating, Sarah? Yes. In the homes? Yes. This is not just something you've created no, for me or in the restaurant? Home. Nothing. This is from our home. Everybody eats same. It tends to be very lentil rich, which means we're talking high protein dishes. There's a whole bunch of different lentils. There's even something that's made out of sunflower seeds. It's going to be my first time trying this dish. And then we have kale, we've got beans. We have some mild dishes, and then I can see some really fiery dishes, and I can't wait to try all of them. Turns out the feast that we're gonna have today is not just vegan, it's gluten-free as well. Traditionally, Ethiopian food is served on a gluten-free bread made out of an ancient grain called teff, and it's a fermented bread called enjera. There's no cutlery used in this meal. You use the injera bread to scoop up all of the different stews and the veggies, and that's how you compose the perfect bite. And there you have it. That's one of the most extensive lineups of vegan dishes that I have ever seen in any culture from around the world. Whether you're vegan or whether you're a full-blown meat lover, you still have to check out the vegan dishes at Al Habasha or at any Ethiopian restaurant that's closest to you. You will rethink veganism forever.